Hello everyone, it's Tony, and I am here for another one of your wedding decor DIYs. Now, a number of you have asked if I could recreate inexpensive floor decorations for the ceremony. Amber sent me this photo of chandelier stands that lit up the aisle. And Ronette sent this dramatic image as an inspiration for her wedding. Just looking online, these stands can cost between $50 and $300 each. So it could get pretty expensive to decorate with this look. But not to worry, I think I come up with a pretty cool low budget solution. I want to show you how you can create your own beautiful chandelier floor stands nearly four feet tall with the lights and the flowers for only $15.50 each. Now, if you're gonna be doing an event or a wedding, it might be a good idea to go online and shop in bulk. I went online to shopwildthings.com and I ordered a three feet by six feet crystal clear beaded curtain. I'll be able to decorate four chandelier stands with this $20 curtain. Along with the curtain, for this project I'm using Gorilla Glue Epoxy, the hot glue gun, and for each stand, from the Dollar Tree, I'm using six clear acrylic cups. You can get a set of two for a dollar. A large clear acrylic bowl. One small round floral foam. Three bouquets of flowers. You could get whatever will match your color scheme. And in the kids section at Dollar Tree, I found this white feathered boa. From Walmart, I found a four pack of tap lights for just $4. I'm using two lights for each piece. To put this together, I'm turning my bowl upside down and I'm going to glue the first cup onto the bottom of the bowl, lip side down. I'm using the Gorilla Glue Epoxy and I'm gonna make sure it's right in the center of the bowl. Next, I'm gonna glue four cups together, lip to lip, and I'm gonna make sure they're lined up perfectly. I'm gonna let the glue pieces set for about 15 minutes, and then I'm gonna glue the bottom of the first piece to the bottom of the second piece. I'm gonna make sure that the little impressions that are on the cups line up. I'm also gluing the bottom of the last cup on top of the next two pieces. And finally, I'm gluing those three pieces on top of the bottom pieces to create a very tall stand. Now you could also use nicer vases for this. Dollar Tree had these acrylic vases for a dollar each. I just couldn't find six of them that were all clear. Or you could use a glass bowl and tall glass cylinders to make your stand. But you'll have to be very careful transporting them and handling them, especially since they'll be on the floor. I like using the acrylic pieces because it's very lightweight but it's still really sturdy. And even if you bump it or lean against it, it'll be a little hard to tip over because of the large bowl that's attached to the bottom. Now I'm gonna give this a chandelier look by using my beaded curtains. This curtain comes with 28 six foot long beaded strands. I am gonna divide this into four, so I'm gonna cut seven strands for each stand. Then I'm gonna cut those pieces in half so that I'll have 14 pieces for each stand. Next, I'll hot glue the strands evenly spaced around to the outside lip of the top cup. Now for the topper pieces. I'm gonna use this tap light to light up the top of the piece in the stand. As you can see, it fits perfectly inside the cup. So before we do the next step, you wanna make sure 
you have all the needed batteries in the light and make sure it works. Now you want to turn the light off and put a little hot glue on the edges of the light to attach the floral foam to the top of it. On the picture that Ronette sent, there were black feathers underneath the flowers on the stand. Dollar Tree had this white feather boa, so I'm going to cut one fourth of it to hot glue around the edge of the tap light. The whole top section will be a detachable piece so that you can turn the light on and off. Right at the base of the bottom cup, I'm also going to put one fourth piece of the feathered boa. Now I'm going to make my floral arrangement on top. I'm using three bouquets of Dollar Tree roses cut short with the leaves close to the flower. And I'm just going to create a nice little round flower ball at the top. Now the last thing I'm going to do is cut 8 to 10 inches from every other couple of strands from this piece. I'm going to twist a long piece of wire around one bead at the end of the strand. I'm going to stick that into the side center of the floral foam all around the piece. Now at your event you can just lift up the top, tap on the top light, and or lift up the bottom, put a tap light underneath to shine light from the bottom and the top of the piece. Now I'm just going to finish this off by trimming the bottom strands so that they don't interfere with the feathers and they'll fall a lot nicer. This would also make a really nice tall table centerpiece. Or imagine two of these framing the bride's table. Oh, and just in case you didn't know, I found a big bag with 300 rose petals at Dollar Tree. Just another inexpensive tip. So, you can still light up the hall with beauty and elegance without having to spend a fortune. Add me on Snapchat at Your House of Home and Instagram at Your House of Home TV for daily home, food, and gardening tips.